need to learn about careers so we can be anything we want to be. I have five questions in less than five minutes for today's professional. Today, we're covering A for Architect, and this is Mr. McKinney. Tell us a little bit about you. Sam, good morning. I am so excited to be here with you. First, I was born here in Memphis, Tennessee, so I've been working as an architect for over 25 years. That's a long time, and I love every day of my job. Every day I go to work, I love it. Can you tell me what an architect does? Sure. The prime thing that he does is design buildings, and he designs structures, he designs buildings, he designs places that people work, live, and eat, uh, worship. What made you want to be an architect? Well, I'll tell you, the first thing that I can think of is when I was a kid, about your age, I started to draw. My mother was very good at drawing, and one of the things I did was picked up from her, how she drew colors, and she drew buildings, she drew people, and all of that, and I liked that. So one day I came home and I drew a house. I don't know how the house looked, but she just really raved about it. But I thought, wow, if I'm that good, I may as well keep doing it. So she encouraged me to just keep doing it and just getting better and better and better at it. And then I went to college and I took architecture in college. Then after college, I worked under, underneath an architect. That's when we did an internship program. And then I was preparing myself to sit and take the exam. So once I took the exam, I became a licensed architect. Dude, I was really so excited. So you've got a lot to look forward to. What did you like to do when you were a child that helped you prepare for this job? But one thing I liked to do as a child was I liked sketching, I liked doing drawings. We used to build houses out of wood and old wood scraps. We used to try to see how high we could build something and, and who could do it the fastest. What are your three favorite buildings? Well, the first building I would have to say is the Taj Mahal. It was a building in India that a man built for his wife. He did that as a monument to his wife and it's really one of the wonders of the world. It's so expertly done, it's so pretty, and it's so lacy, it's so intricate. The next building I like is, I like the Capitol Building in Washington, D.C. It's so big and it's so tall and it has these tall domes in it. And the third building I would have to say is my house. And the reason I like my house is because my wife just demanded that I build and design my house. And I put so much time and work into it and we work together to do that. So I'm gonna say my house was the third building I really liked most of all. If I wanna be an architect when I grow up, how should I prepare? The first thing I would say to you is you've done a good job at making that decision early. You wanted to be an architect, so really at your age, knowing what you wanna be already, that puts you well ahead of most of the people already. And then you prepare to go. You go to a college that has an architecture program, you study in that architecture program, you do well, you learn a lot more about architecture, how it works. When you graduate, you can go out and start working for an architect. Just a few years, and then you're ready to sit for the exam. So Sam is an architect after that. You can go out and do your own thing. Wow, do you want to be an architect now? I do, I want to build things. Next time, we'll talk to a biochemist. I'm Sam, and I'll see you then. Shucks, I thought I was going to be able to beatbox. You can do it next time, Daddy.